Yo, what's up guys? I'm Chris Mango. Hey back guys, it's Natasha back at it again with another daily vlog. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? I'm Chris Mangos and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be telling you a crazy, crazy experience of my vacation in Florida. If you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and let's get to the video. So this vacation started with me and my friend Danny just wanting to go on a vacation and I said, alright, let's go to Florida. So we booked a flight, the cheapest flight actually, which was Spirit, which was only $250 and we thought that, you know, it was going to be comfortable and you know a good flight well when we got on the plane literally it was the worst flight i've ever been on i'm telling you guys right now never fly spirit okay even though it's very cheap you're gonna have an uncomfortable seat you're gonna have loud people all around you there's just so many obnoxious people i am never flying spirit again so i was on the flight for three hours i was in the middle seat guys whoever has been in the middle seat R.I.P. R.I.P. I was in the middle seat for six hours to Las Vegas one time and I almost died. I literally almost died. So we finally arrived at the airport in Tampa. We got our luggage and we thought we were just going to go and get our rental car for the whole week and that was it. Come to find out when we went to go get the rental car, we had to be 21 with a credit card and I don't have a credit card and my friend Danny did not have a credit card. So we looked at each other and go, wow. We're screwed right now, so we're sitting on the bench for literally an hour planning on what to do. So I looked at Danny and I told him, let's just go to another place. So we finally went to another place and the girl, I don't know if she liked us or something, thought we were cute, but we're not supposed to get a car if we're not 21 and don't have a credit card. She's like, I got you guys, don't worry, I can make this work out. 20 minutes pass and we pay $600 for only three days to rent the car. If we rented the car for the whole week, it was going to be $1,000. After we filled out all the paperwork and everything we needed to do, we ran to the rental car lot and there was a row full of cars that we could pick from. Any car we wanted. It felt like Christmas. Danny and I were going in every single car looking at which one we wanted. We finally got this Ford Fusion and it was a nice car. We drove out of there so fast with the music blaring. It, it, it was so nice to be in Florida because where I am, it's cold rainy and guys who doesn't like hot weather we drove away from the airport and we were so hungry so i said yo let's go to chick-fil-a the chick-fil-a was closed down and we drove 40 minutes just to get chick-fil-a now for the people that has not eaten chick-fil-a what are you doing with your life so we ended up going to mcdonald's which mcdonald's sucks and then when the plan was to go to my aunt's house for the whole entire week and just chill there we got to my aunt's house at like midnight so we were really tired so we unpacked all of our bags into the room all of a sudden danny looks at me and he goes i don't think i can stay here i look at him i'm like what what do you mean you can't stay here so apparently danny is allergic to cats and my aunt has five cats that were in the room i could see danny's skin all red everywhere on his back on his arms and his eyes watering we decided to get a hotel in tampa the next day to enjoy the rest of our vacation which was going to be even better because it had a pool a hot tub and a gym so before we went to the hotel we booked the hotel and you have to be 21 everywhere to get a hotel which makes no sense we thought we were going to walk into the hotel check in and go into our room well that's where we were wrong she checked our id and said we have to be 21 so she said that if we bring someone that's 21 and has an id we could just go in i look at danny and we go there's so many people on the street that will be willing to we'll give them 20 dollars. we walk around for 30 minutes looking for just one person to check us into the hotel and only one decided to help and the first person we even asked didn't even speak english english speak english they speak english but she had no idea what we were saying at all and she thought like we were gonna kill her or something so the guy that helped us out walked with us to the hotel and was handing over his id and everything everything was fine he blurts out and says just so you know, I'm not related to them at all. My heart drops. We're screwed. The lady says, here's your ID back and you guys have to be related. You can't just bring a stranger onto the street. I look at Danny and I'm like, why would this dude help us and just say that? So we couldn't get the hotel. So we're walking out miserable, not knowing what to do. And I'm like, hold on, I got an idea. 
So I call my aunt. She goes, I can help you guys get in. Mind you, my aunt gets out of work at 8 p.m. It is currently 12 in the morning right now. We have no idea what to do. We're in a town we've never been in. So we're very disappointed at this point and don't know what to do. So to waste time, we decided to go paddleboarding. Now, I never paddleboard before. I tell the guy I don't even know how to paddleboard and he's just like, get on. So I finally get on the paddleboard and we had an hour on the paddleboard. Now all of a sudden, 30 minutes later, I see a damn fin in the water. My biggest fear is to get attacked by a shark in the ocean. I never go in the ocean. It ended up being a dolphin and it came right up 20 feet away from me and I flipped out. I fell into the water and I, my heart was racing. I didn't know what to do. I thought I was gonna die. Danny was laughing on his paddleboard because I thought it was a shark. I have never moved so fast in my life. After that, I went back to the paddleboard station, put my paddleboard back up on the stand and left. I told Danny I'm never doing that again. Never paddleboarding an ocean again. Never will that happen. So hours passed and we were walking around doing random things the whole entire day. My aunt finally, finally came and checked us in. We got our hotel room and decided the next day to drive an hour and a half to the beach to Clearwater. The next day, we finally arrived at Clearwater Beach and it was a huge beach with tons of people. It was like Miami or Las Vegas. But the down part about that that day is it started downpouring we both got drenched because we we're walking in the streets and we ran into this random Starbucks we're sitting there for 10 minutes and I decided let's make some friends I airdropped my Instagram to random teenagers in Starbucks and for about 30 minutes it was not working at all so we decided to go in a hotel and just walk around since it was raining out we couldn't go outside we ended up meeting these two Russian girls back in Starbucks so we all looked at each other and go so what do you guys want to do? One of the girls goes, let's go for a walk. So we ended up going to the beach and walking for literally 20 to 30 minutes just walking. We ended up at this abandoned hotel, which was the coolest thing ever. I have videos right here, bam. We were there for about 30 minutes just chilling, looking at everything, and we got bored and decided to leave. Now there was nice hotels everywhere. We decided, okay, let's just sneak into a hotel and go into one of their infinity pools and go in the hot tub. So we ended up at this hotel where you have to have a key to unlock to go to the pool. We waited for people to come out so we could sneak behind the people and go into the infinity pool. We finally got in and jumped in the pool, had a great time, went in the hot tub, and talk to so many people. But here's where it all went downhill. I was in the hot tub and security came and asked for everybody's wristband. Now, I was confused because nobody had a wristband. They went to me first. He looks at me and says, can you step out the pool, please? I step out the pool. I'm thinking a million things through my mind. I'm gonna go to jail. I'm gonna get arrested. He asked me, are you staying at this hotel? Of course I lie and say, Yes, I am. He asked me about three questions. What's your mom's name? What hotel room are you staying at? And when did you get here? I answer all those with no hesitation at all. He comes closer to me and I could feel him breathing. I could feel him on my face. And he said, you know, trespassing is a crime and I'm calling the police right now. I'm the only one that heard this out of all the people we were with. I walk away from him and tell all my friends, we need to go. They're like, why? I say, we need to go. So as we're walking out, security stops us and the police show up. All of our hearts drop. If I end up in jail right now, I'm on vacation. What am I going to do right now? The cops stop us and have us sit down on the sidewalk and ask us all these questions. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your address? Literally so many questions. I thought this whole time I was gonna get arrested and go to jail and thank God they let us go. And after the cops let us go, I thought, Okay, nothing could get worse than this. I checked my pockets and my phone was not in my pocket. I thought I put it in my backpack and my phone was gone. And my debit card was in my case. Two hours later, a thought popped in my head. Oh my God, I was sitting on a sand dune so long ago. I ran to the beach by myself. I ran as fast as I could. Run. I saw my phone laying down on a sand dune with sand covered everywhere. The night finally ended. I finally went to sleep. It was the longest day ever. It, the next day, it was my friend's birthday and she wanted to go to the club and I thought it was gonna be the best time of my life. I was at the club at one in the morning. 
all of a sudden this guy had a drink in his hand and pushed me onto the floor for no reason at all. Security came, grabbed both of our shoulders, and threw us out the club. So I called the Uber for every fucking where to go back to my hotel room with my friend. The night ended. The next day we went to the airport to go home. So I'm walking on the plane and I'm supposed to get the window seat. This girl is trying to argue with me to get the window seat. She's like, you're getting the middle seat. I tell her, no, I'm getting the window seat. And we went back and forth for about five minutes. I've never had a crazy experience traveling ever. I hope you guys liked this story time. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!